People that have a very high prescription, um, it becomes a very interesting discussion about risk of vision correction surgery. Because, you see, if you have a very high prescription, you're a minus 8, minus 10, minus 12, you have options, right? You have your glasses, your spectacles, you can wear contact lenses, or you can have a surgical procedure, a laser, probably an ICL. So you think about the ICL as being the most risk because you have to put something in the eye. But then if you consider the risks of doing a very high laser procedure in the cornea, actually the ICL might be lower risk than laser in that, in, in that particular scenario. And then you think about contact lenses being even safer. Well, actually not because we know from studies of, of hundreds of thousands of eyes now that contact lenses carry risks and they are now about equivalent to the risks of laser eye surgery and ICL surgery. So they think, well, spectacles, that's surely the lowest risk option. And you say, well, yes, they probably are the lowest risk option for the eye, particularly as not only are you not touching or doing anything to the eye, but also you have a, a protective shield in front of the eye. If, you know, a, a, a stone gets kicked up by a motorcycle on, uh, when you're on holiday in Greece, it hits your glasses and doesn't hit your eye. So that's a good thing, right? But think about something else. If you're that blind and you're riding on your Vespa on the, in the Italian uh, mountains in the summer and you have, you, you have a wipeout and your glasses ended up, you don't know where, and your phone's over there and it's an emergency situation, well, that could be very dangerous for your life because your dependency on the spectacles to be able to function at all is total. And so people who have very high prescriptions are quite vulnerable, actually. And they're really stuck in this, you know, fateful triangle of risk. Do they wear contact lenses, which they can't swim in, they can't shower in? Do they have a vision correction procedure, which has carried certain risks, probably about the same? Or do they wear spectacles? And then, of course, there's a risk of them being knocked off in a situation that could be critical. The fact is that if you're born with that kind of prescription, you're born with a certain risk and you need to decide not whether you do something about the risk, but you've got to decide what risk you're going to take. And that is something which, as vision correction experts, we're very equipped to be able to um, give all the information and lay it out so that it can become clear and, and you can make a rational decision for yourself.